Hey guys, here's a video to help you guys change out your encoder strip sensor, okay? So well, the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to remove the dome cover that covers up your heads. And then once you get that out of place, you're going to then remove the uh, fan guard cover. The fan guard cover looks like this. It has one electrical connection there. You'll have to unplug that and then get this to come out of the machine, okay? So once you have that removed and you have the fan guard removed, you'll kind of see this access here. And this is your machine. Uh, there's your top board. Uh, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, we're gonna have to take that top board out and kind of get it out of the way. So we do recommend that you um, take pictures of all this here and make sure your ribbon cables, you have pictures of each one, how it's plugged in, cause you're going to have to reseat the uh, ribbon cables, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to then proceed to unplug the ribbon cables. And you're also gonna wanna make sure that power is off before you do anything with this board okay so make sure you again your power is off with the red button here you would stop the power and again you're going to unseat all the ribbon cables and get them unplugged and kind of pulled away from the board uh, next you're going to see where all the connections are uh, you're gonna to have to unplug your fiber connections and a few others in the back and make sure your board is kind of unplugged okay there's not too many connections so the connection that we're replacing today is this little wire here this little connection right here with the blue it's got three wires in it as you can see kind of zoom in there for you it's that plug right there with the red green and blue wires okay that one right there so we're going to unseat this plug and this plug actually runs underneath the board and comes back up so we've taken the bolt out now and kind of showing you that we, we've kind of kind of tipped the board up a little bit and get it out of our way okay go ahead and move and then what it is, is this green wire here is what leads to that top plug that I just showed you. That green wire runs back under the housing here, this way, okay? And it comes out to this side. So I'll give you a quick view, kind of. You can see here that there is a bar that's holding the green wire in place. You are gonna to wanna to remove the left-hand side screw here and kind of get this bar to pop up and out of the way to get access to free this cable up. Okay. Anyway, that's how the route goes back underneath the board and pops up the other side. Okay. So this is what it looks like there. Okay. So the next step for us is going to be then to just remove the old sensor and put on the new one. Okay. So as you can see on the sensor, there are two Phillips screws there and there. You just unbolt those screws and then uh, pull the sensor off. Don't pull the sensor straight back towards you. The sensor actually rides just on the strip, so you'll have to unbolt and then pull upward to avoid hitting the strip. Because the sensor has a little uh, two-way football field looking like on the other side. Well, here, we'll show you in a minute. After he pulls it off, you'll see what we mean, okay? So that's what it looks like. Go ahead and pull it out for me for a second. And as you can see, there's a little slot right there. And that's what your encoder, the encoder strip actually rides in between those two little posts there. And that's what you wanna to try to avoid. So when you pull it off, pull it straight up. That way it clears the sensor, okay? And then when putting your machine back down, your, or the piece back down, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. You angle it in over the strip, place it down. and then just re-bolt that on. And just make sure that that strip is inside that little area. And then just simply bolt on the new sensor and run the cable back, redo your tie there. The cable, like I said, runs underneath the board and out the other side. So as you can see, that green cable comes out to that plug we showed you. And uh, just reseat the plug and then plug everything back in. And uh, you should be good to go.